there's a massive amount of confusion when it comes to brake discs. Some say that you shouldn't go with certain types, and others swear by them. So what does the science say? Let's look at the common types. Firstly, there's two main types of construction, solid and vented. Solid is simply one solid disc with its two brake faces. Vented discs space those faces out with air channels in the middle, allowing heat to be relieved through them. The veins that channel the air can be straight or can be curved to help additional cooling. It's generally known that a vented disc will do a better job of dissipating heat than the equivalent solid one. Now let's look at the faces. We've got plain, drilled, dimpled, slotted, or a combination of multiple. Plain discs have nothing on their faces. Most standard car manufacturers run these as they provide the maximum surface area possible, they're cheap, and they're reliable. Drilled discs were an answer to a problem that would arrive when brakes were being used hard. As pads would degrade, they would release gas and particles, creating a thin layer between the pad and disc, reducing brake effectiveness. Holes were drilled as relief for the gas and particles to escape through. However, due to newer pad technology, this is no longer as big of a problem, thus making drilled discs less effective than most people think. Add to that, the holes in the disc can mean that temperatures are not distributed evenly around the disc, causing peaks and temperature spikes, making a drilled disc more prone to cracking when used under hard conditions. A dimple disc attempts to help with gas relief, but keeps the structural integrity by not drilling all the way through the disc. Instead, the dimples help to catch the pad gases but evenly spread the heat. Slotted discs have the same purpose as drilled, but their wider nature and lack of drilling all the way through allows them to more evenly distribute the heating and cooling of the disc. There are many different ways discs can be slotted, with each having their own benefits. Recently, J or C hook have been adopted by more brake companies both for their looks and for their good initial brake response. Often on high performance cars, you'll see slotted and drilled or slotted and dimpled together on one disc. In essence, most of the reason they do this is just for looks and so that they can charge you more. A plain disc would likely work just as well if not better than the equivalent disc with slots and drilled parts. In the end, it's up to preference, but most who have spent time looking into the subject recommend either vented plain discs or vented slotted discs, but which do you prefer?